roll out a mat for a yoga class like no other in Omaha, where your props We're ready for the dogs. are your pets. They call it doggy yoga or doga, and already curious canine lovers are crowding in to give it a try. I didn't know if we were going to be doing yoga or if the dogs were going to be doing yoga or what. I've always been interested in doing yoga, but I love anything that I can include my dogs. So bringing your hand to your opposite knee wherever your dog is close. Sure, there's deep breathing and a feeling of relaxation, but surprisingly, few barks. Although it does happen. Because that energy translates really um, effectively to our animals. So when we hold our breath and hold our tension in our bodies, the animal does get wound up. It feeds off that energy. They're so intuitive. That's when the dog trainer on duty can help calm your best friend if needed. However, the biggest distinguishing factor in this class, the frequent pause and nuzzling. Who's a good boy? And really. No, it's not all about downward facing dog, although that is a popular pose in doga. It's more about getting a little exercise while bonding with your pet. Yoga benefits me, it benefits my dogs. My dogs get lots of affection at the same time I'm getting, you know, some good exercise and some good stretching. So I think it benefits both of us. <laughs> The tales tell the tale, as do the smiles on all the faces. If only I got a workout, I think she got more of a workout though. I've never done yoga before last week and I really do like yoga and yoga.